Welcome back to the channel and to Satisfactory guys, this will be episode 29, thank you for joining me uh, into this episode as well. This time we are going to send the last milestone in there, uh, particle enrichment, but first let me tell you what uh, happened What? Uh, why? while you were not watching. So didn't have enough rubber for that thing in there that thing in there um uh, i went in there and i put i overclocked one of those oil extractors got another 120 out of it and then overclocked the refineries so now we are making like 120 rubber extra that give me enough rubber to fill up all those assemblers in there the heat sinks are going just fine, they're being sent in the other side, no issue at all. And I put a line connected to the splitter underneath into that box. Now that box is kind of filled up. So I put just another one just to have enough where to stay as a buffer for that production of thermal motors, engines, rockets, majigis. So this guy is full, this guy is full. Of course, we had the problem after that with the power. Uh, let me get down here. But now it's solved. As you can see here, uh, I went to the power plant that we had, all those tasty fuel generators in there. I took the other pure oil node and basically doubled everything, the production of power. So I put down 54 fuel generators, six water extractor, the oil extractor, of course, eight refineries, seven blenders, awesome sink, industrial fluid buffer. It took a lot of materials, but it was worth it because right now we get all the power. Uh, let me just delete this clear list. Now, what we have in here, to our right it's your tasks which helped me a lot and after that is my tasks the next task on my list is the last milestone i made a hand some of those turbo motors and now we're ready to send it this will be our last milestone that we can do is the last time accelerator enables that beauty will move so better watch it clear waste and converting it into plutonium as well as the generation of exotic matter a new project part enables progress to the next phase did she said something generation of exotic matter i don't think i heard that one before Oh, think I heard it. Anyway. Must be something new. Or I'm not remembering. So, right now we have access to nitric, nitric acid. Which is going to be used for the plutonium, of course. And uh, these guys. Or something like that. We're gonna need to make pressure conversion cube. Plenty of them. A bunch. And a bunch of copper powder. And after that, a thousand nuclear pasta. Anywho, these guys take the particle accelerator. That one, it's a lot of power. Uh, can I put one down, mister? I'm missing just about everything. Let's grab everything just to see what it takes, basically. So we have the ready control units right in here. We're gonna need 25 of them. Uh, give me 25, please. Thank you very much. Uh, magnetic control rods are in here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, we're gonna need 100. Good stuff. Supercomputers. I think they are right in here. We're gonna need only 10 of those. Uh, is this box filled up? It is. Let's grab 10. Come on, please, work with me. 
got them. 50 cooling systems up here. Uh, we got a bunch in those crates in there, but they are being used. So we're gonna take them from here. Uh, 20 of this only. Well, let's take 20. Uh, it doesn't matter. 24. And 50 of this. Thank you very much. Turbo moves. 10. I'm not building any. I don't want to build others by hand. So guess what I'm going to do. If I can find the spot. Yeah, I did. Right in here. We're going to grab 10 of those. They're being in, made in here. And then transfer it in this manufacturer. Okay. We got everything we need for that big baby. Let me get into flight mode. I don't know where to put it because it's kind of big, you know. Uh, down there looks like a good spot for it because a lot of space is big. Okay, very big. So this guy, uh, let's say plutonium pellet, for example, it takes between two fifty and seven fifty megawatts if you make nuclear pasta which we're gonna make 500 to a thousand and a half we're gonna need like six of this so let's say six thousand megawatts we're gonna need at this point uh we have exactly six thousand that we can play with it's more like six and a half but that's a totally different story so we're gonna need a lot more power we will have to put another field of fuel generators in there or do the nuclear i want to do the nuclear in this playthrough so we're gonna go that route before getting here we need to build stuff we need to build a lot of stuff so I want to start storing this powder because it's going to be a pain to do it and we're going to need a billion of this stuff. After that, these guys are for the nuclear and this guy, we're going to need a million of this as well. Yeah, this one are made with the fused and radio control units. At this point, this assembly line for the rockets has almost all the radio control units that needs. Uh, and more than it needs for this guy. So I'm guessing I can put down another assembler or whatever it takes to make those let's see come on how were you going in there parts so assembler it takes one of these two of these we're gonna need this thousand let's say so better put down one right now we're gonna need a thousand of this and two thousand of this uh if i remember correctly uh this pressure conversion cube it's needed at something else oh look <laughs> oh my god those are good to be synced so we're gonna have to make a lot more no fissile uranium that's what we needed the silica this is for the nuclear we're gonna go into the swamp in there to make the nuclear stuff right in there where you see those funky looking trees like balloons where can i put my assembly here in there you said let's try and put it in here with the zoop will be just amazing if we will be able to do this uh i'm not planning to put a thousand down so let's put only one apparently i'm missing just about everything Reinforced and rollers. Grab a hundred of those. Grab 
this guy? No, that guy. A hundred of those. And let's put down an assembler in here. Uh, yep, right in there. And we're gonna need three of those. One, two, three. Mark one. I think it's gonna be enough. It's too steep because I selected it from up. Okay. So these guys, this guy, I want him to do this majigi. We're gonna take the fuse from here. A hundred and something. I don't know how many. I'm gonna drop them all in here. So we have a hundred, uh, let's say 200. We're gonna need 400 of this. Uh, one, two, three, four. Since I put the radio control units in there for the turbo modes, this guy started working again. So it, it was eating rubber by himself, basically. So <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I did make made those modifications in there. We need power. Power in there to you. Power to you, mister. Start making those thingies. It's gonna take a while. How much is he making? One per minute. For the time being, it's gonna be more than enough. Let me dump the turbo moles in here. Because from here I took them. Cooling it's in here. Uh, got plenty, got plenty, got plenty motors, not so much, enough of those, enough of those, I already made the batch like, a lot of motors, I don't even remember, I just uh, grabbed a bunch of rotors and status in my hand, in my inventory basically, uh, sit by a crafting bench, and just made them all, you know, now, Let's see what do we need in order to build that stuff. Copper powder. So it's done in a constructor. Can I at least put down one of these? Yes, please. Copper powder. 300 ingots per minute. So we have 780 in there. And 780 there is somewhere I don't remember where in there uh, I'm guessing we can put them in there and merge them I mean put the smelters in there and make the copper powder and bring it somewhere in the middle don't forget uh, where we're gonna choose to put them that's where we're gonna build those nuclear pasta guys so we're gonna need six at least six of those big magigas particle accelerators we're gonna need a lot of space apparently it's not gonna take too many constructors but it's gonna take a bunch of smelters because we're gonna have 780 unfortunately we are limited at 780 because that's our maximum build our uh, mark free miner, you can put it up to extract 900, but 780 is the limit of our belt. 30, it's each smelter, so we're gonna need for each one 26 smelters. So we're gonna go in here and select this, two of these guys, and 26 smelters. Where are my smelters? In here. Uh, 26 that's 52 for you uh, mark 5 belts majigis uh, let's say 6 of this I'm gonna need 20 modular frames fused that's for you got them in here got them in here I said 6 turbo motors apparently I gotta steal them again Six of them. Grab it. Uh, five. And another one, please. Six. Perfect. You can go back. And six miners. Portable, that is. Let's just do them. Make them real quick. Apparently, I got 
447 of those uh, aluminum sheets in my inventory I think is gonna be just fine good stuff let's go and grab those nodes so in here we're gonna need a mark free uh yeah that away that's where we're gonna put our platform so we need 780 twice good stuff that's our maximum belt and i said 26 smelters uh that's 24 i'm gonna put another two or uh 30 no let's let's do like this um entry point in here straight on the floor because why not you know so 26 we got eight Sixteen. I don't like it on the floor. Sorry. No way. It ain't gonna be on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna put the foundation here. Uh, zoop, please. Aligned with the grid. So like that. Up here. Gonna go up. Uh, well. Maybe two. And then start building from here. Because it's best if they are aligned, it's gonna be so much easier. I think five foundations will be enough for this. Uh, not blueprint, normal. Thank you very much. Thank you, SN. So let's repeat that 26 SN. Uh, what, what? This is marked as well, I think. Whatever. Uh, entry point is in here. Eight. Come on, save please. Sixteen, right? Need the platform. Twenty four, and then we gotta make another twenty. Uh, another two. Is this one no? Uh, let's put this one, and then we're gonna delete one. I'm missing iron plates. Amazing. Okay, let's go grab some. It's adjusting here. It's not far away. Gotta be careful about the builds, but I think we can manage that. Okay, so we need 26. So, 4, 6, 8, 10. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. Out of here, we gotta delete everything. And after that, we're gonna figure out how many constructors we need. Okay. This thing is gonna transport Oh, a lot of copper powder but we'll see how that one goes okay uh, let's take care of that mark 5 belt because it's gonna be needed in here come with it like that that's the input okay it's gonna be filled up So we're gonna have 780 or in 780 ingots out. Oops. 
Okay. What is this in here? Mark 1. Uh, they can stay Mark 1 because each one is making 30. So, just fine. Excuse me, I got a paste. Finished pasting. Let's grab that power line. Uh, I don't know, put it in here. You gotta connect everything to the power. Good stuff. They all have power. We're gonna need the Mark 5 lifting here. From there, down here. Okay, uh, and one at the end. Gonna put this one in here. Connect this big boy to the power. The iron ore should start coming in. Uh, the copper ore, excuse me. Gonna need the Mark V in here, of course. Bring it down. And let's see how many constructors do we need actually. So copper powder is 300. Uh, we have 780, so we're gonna need three of these guys. Okay, let's make this platform a little bigger. And let's see, do I have a blueprint for four of them or for three? Constructors, three constructors, exit forward, perfect. That's gonna be split evenly between them, so it's perfect. Uh, we're gonna need a Mark V. Going in there, connect this guy to the power as well. I'm gonna say here, copper powder. Uh, wait. 780 divided by 3 is 260 each. So in here, I, I need 260. I don't know how many is that. Uh, 45 maybe, 43.33, yep, let's try it, 34, perfect, copy, paste, paste, very good, so we're gonna have 12130 copper powder per minute, only 130, okay, only that's the keyword. Uh, of course, these guys in here will need to be Mark V, all of them. These guys, not so much. 130, it's nothing. Okay, let's put them in a box already or bring them in there. I haven't decided where to put that Mojigi. So let's take the slug from here because if not, we're gonna lose him. And let's see exactly. Uh, I think that one is taller than this one, but excuse me, buddy. Passing through. Align to the grid, thank you. Are you in the way? Jesus Christ. Come after me. Don't make me kill you. I don't want to kill you. I really don't want to. Come on. You can do this. Perfect. Yeah. Apparently here. This one is higher. So we're going to start from here. Okay. That will be just fine. Remember. We need a bunch of space. Those particle accelerators are really big. Uh, we're gonna go with them that way. But... I think I wanna come in here as well. Okay. I think we should stop in here for now. Or maybe continue getting closer. Yeah, let's get closer. Because that node is in there, this node is in here, we can be a little closer. 
Missing concrete. Bring you guys back when I finish building this platform. Good stuff. Let's bring the output in here. Being aligned to the grid, it's really good, you know. So I think a Mark II will be more than enough because it's something like 120. Yeah, it's got to be a Mark III. Perfect. Come with me. Uh, in here -ish. Good. So if it's this one, I want to delete this line. Uh, we will bring the other one the same in here. So let's just put a box in the middle or somewhat in the middle. It doesn't really matter. Good. That one will get stored. Let's take care of the other one. Apparently I will miss some of my iron rods. So let's get in here and grab some. Four of them. Uh, I got a bunch. It's good. It's good. It's good. We're covered. Guys, if you find yourselves enjoying this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps good we will do the same exercise in here with the mark free and all those uh, things i'm thinking of lifting up in here where this guy is so sorry buddy you have to go away missed that one Good stuff. Give me that. Good, good, good. Uh, I'm gonna speed this up, of course. We already did it once. No point in you seeing it uh, again. So, these guys are not aligned exactly with the other guys, but I can live with that. Um, we're starting to get our ingots in here. It's gonna be just fine. We now gotta transport that in there. Perfect. The copper powder should come. The same setup as the other one. Ain't looking that great, but what's the point in putting a tractor to go from here or from there, you know? No point in it. So, yep. So, mark free it is? Yes, perfect. These guys are making good, good stuff in here. We got six of them. We have 260 copper powder per minute. There's not much. Not much at all. But it will have to do for now. Uh, I got a feeling we're gonna tap into more copper nodes in here. I don't know if we got any pure nearby because with the other ones you're not it's not even worth it okay normal maybe these guys these three guys just to grab them to make another 780 two of them and another half but other than that i don't see any copper i see a normal in there impure 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 normal that's about it this guy normal 
Yeah. In here, I think we got a pure. No, it's a normal. Forget I said anything. We got more in here. There are three, which are pure. In here, I made it the last time. So maybe I'll come in here, put a building, just like I did it in the last playthrough. Put 26 of those smelters and free constructors on each level. And then grab uh, that 390 with the drone. Take it from there, bring it in here. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna have the batteries for that, but that's a totally different story. Let's see how many berries. Nine. And another nine. Eighteen. We're making forty. Uh, am I right about that? So my batteries are coming from far away in there. I think they are being used as something else as well. Yeah. In there, they coming in here. In here, I said 10. So, uh, 18, 28. We will, we are using 28. We have an excess of 12. If that one goes well, I mean, like 12, which it's about the same distance if you think about it from here until here. It's about the same distance as from here until here. So we should be good. I'm not sure we're going to be good, but that's a totally different story. I guess I could uh, increase the production of berries in there since now we got a little more casings. But those casings are kind of being used, all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see how I'm setting the casings. Used all of them. We're building just enough for our production in here. We are at the limit, especially since this guy started. Ain't funny, ain't funny, mister. This one is stopped. Yeah, we're using a bunch of casings. It is what it is. Well, into the next one. So in here, the last milestone, it's done. The cup of powder, it's done for now. Uh, I don't know about your tasks, but mine are done. Uh, we don't have any other milestones so we're gonna make a new task in here I'm gonna delete this one uh, and we're gonna say in here prep for nuclear power because that's the way we gotta go we're gonna, I think we're gonna use satisfactory Intel and we're gonna reverse engineer it. Basically put down one of those nuclear magigis. This one, uh, what, am I missing something? Yeah. Anyway, put down a couple of these, let's say two, because two of them is gonna be more than enough. Each one gives 2000 and a half megawatts. Uh, and we're gonna see what we gotta build. Of course, if you do it that way, it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna look on satisfactory intel, uh, satisfactorycalculator.com and uh, figure out exactly what we're gonna need to build. After that, we're gonna make our way in there, into the swamp. I'm gonna put a platform in there, drag a hypertube from here in there, Put a bunch of materials and then start building because we're gonna have to have factories for everything in there. What we don't have factories in here, we're gonna transport from our base or from there. I'm thinking the easiest way to do it 
it's with a train. So maybe I'm gonna split that train at some point or just build another highway for our train. But I don't know, because that one, if you look at it, it's pretty close. I would like to keep the same base station. So maybe I will split those lines and bring them in here into the swamp. The swamp looks not that good. You can see it, right? If you're gonna get lower, it's even worse than this. But the good news is that we have a bunch of resources, very good resources in here. I don't know if they're covered. No, I'm gonna have to put another radar in here, this one, in here somewhere, just to have all of this area covered, to have an idea what kind of nodes we can play with but i think we kind of covered and then we're gonna start building stuff that one is normal that one is normal it's good enough for the production that we're gonna need pretty dark in here especially that now it's night time that's why i don't like this place not to count those huge spiders Ugh, it's it's bad it's just split it like that uh, if i remember correctly we got in here somewhere nitrogen because we're gonna need it so it would be amazing if not a little further away uh, apparently that's not nitrogen it's in there somewhere so we will be able to drag a pipe until here sulfur is just in here iron everything really close we will be able to build everything that we need in here. That's the nitrogen for you. We can cross with the pipe underneath and come with it wherever we need it. I'm thinking in there, nuclear power, like the platform with the <laughs> nice reflection with the um, power plants basically and in here this space reserved for building all of it is gonna happen up i'm not gonna build anything on ground level because it's impossible to build here i mean it's not impossible but look at this it's a pain okay so i'm gonna come with a platform where the light changes basically right in here up on these trees and we're gonna do our production up here on platforms and in here at water level because we're gonna need a lot of water is gonna be say his name uh our power plant oh found some motors in here yeah, that's the plan for the next uh, episode. I think this will cover this one very good. Uh, so I gotta put down a radar tower somewhere around here. And then figure out the uranium, it's in that cave. It's a cave under the waterfall. Yeah, I think it's gonna be just fine. Just fine good let me get back to the base bring all the materials that i'm gonna need to bring the power in here somewhere and uh, we'll take it from there into the next episode we'll start building everything we need for the nuclear power in here thank you guys so much for being here for watching this if you like it please subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys into the next one. Take care of you all.